Yes, and a very good day to you. Today is Thursday, the 15th of February, 2024. And as some of you may know, I'm on the plateau and I'm here to tell you conditions are good, but let's just go and analyze them because I did a live video on the Bansko blog Facebook page. First thing, I must have been about, I don't know, nine o'clock. It was really nice conditions, really quite compacted, but good. But it's got suddenly rather busy and I'm interested to see how I would navigate this and I'm going to show you how I will navigate hopefully successfully a busy piece. So take care out there it's a glorious sunny day it's now warmed up a bit from minus six seven up here I think it's about minus two minus three now so not bad at all. So let's let's get on and have a look at the snow. So a lot of people are coming from the top of Tudorka lift and making this really busy down there. So what I do, and I did on my few earlier runs here, is move across to the other side, if I see that, and ski the right hand side. Yeah? Snow's got softer, less compacted now. Uh, let me see where there's a way across, there's a way across there that lots of people have done. Uh, this may be a little bit more tricky, but no, it seems okay. So, but now the other side, it doesn't look quite so bad, although a number of other people have decided to do the same, I think. Yeah. Not too bad. Just keeping to the side of the piste here. Ah, it's more forgiving. Softer. There's this moment where it can become too soft. <laughs> uh, I don't think that'll happen up here, but it's happened lower down on piece number one going into Bundarishka earlier. Remember to book your private transfer, ski hire lessons in the app. And of course, we've got five now venues or services. You get 20% off. Including Contrabar, the hub. Bongo Bingo there tonight. Every Thursday night, Bongo Bingo. Hope to be there myself and try and explain what Bongo Bingo is all about. I've seen some YouTube videos and, well, <laughs> not quite sure. We'll see. So here's the snow. Less compact than earlier, really nice, sort of upper level of forgiveness. I want my peace skis today. Rather tracked out now. There's going to be some sprinkling of snow early next week. I'm sorry I didn't have time to do a full analysis, but Prospects are improving. Be careful of looking at a forecast that says no snow forever. It's, they just put no snow because it's yet to, the weather systems have yet to really resolve and move, move down. So the piece here is very nice. Let's go a little bit further down. This stretches skiing and boarding very well if I was on a board, which I'm not. Missing you, David. Had a bit of an injury. Haven't had a chance to catch up with him, how that happened. A bit crowded here, so I'm looking to my left, you see, making sure I can cross over and find the quietest part of the piste. Often down here in the middle is a good place. And then I'll stop behind a ski cannon like this, well out of the way. So that's how I navigate a busy piece. I'll look ahead, find a line, and look around at all times. I am aware that it's busy now. It wasn't this morning, there was no queue. Can you believe this? No queue at five past eight. 
I didn't have to go through the VIP entrance around the back. I walked straight through the main entrance. So early, early doors is a, is a good strategy. And there were even a couple of taxis there had you, well, there was no point taking a taxi, but just to say, it will be busy again next week, Romanian holidays. Ah, but everyone seems to be having a good time. Sunny, sunny views. Now, uh, thanks to Roy putting up a post about cash and cards. I shout out, I've got a few people to shout out with. One, I've forgotten the name. I'm sorry, I'll do it the next one. But Lucy, who I managed to prevent using a Euronet ATM, she very kindly got hold of me. She obviously recognised me and thanked me. That's very kind of you, Lucy, so shout out to you. And uh, hopefully I saved you uh, a good few lever on your cash point withdrawal. So talking of cash, it is good to have cash. Uh, you can bring, um, obviously euros are easy to exchange, but also UK pounds and other currencies. However, the best way is to have those, if you're in a country that has a Revolut, a Wise, a Monzo, a crew, a starling. Get a bundle of these cards is my tip, yeah? And then you can go up to your limit taking out cash. Now why does, why do some places much prefer cash? Well I can tell you as a business we obviously take cards for your bookings but we pay a hundred percent more fee for non-EU citizen cards. So from the UK, from Israel, US, wherever, outside the EU. I'm going to keep to my lane on this topic, which is obviously the ski conditions, but let me know whether you think that's totally reasonable. Uh, but uh, there you go. I'm just saying why quite a few businesses uh, want to accept cash. And the other reason is, well, cash is the original peer-to-peer. -peer. There's no banking layers. I can go on and on about this as an ex-banker, but yeah, maybe just think about uh, the privacy aspect of using cash and keeping that alive. I think you'll be doing something worthwhile, is my view. But what do you think in the comments? Maybe you think just the convenience of using a card everywhere is, is the future and it works and, hey, don't have to think. Uh, I guess, talking of currencies, of course, we accept Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Lightning for your reservation of uh, ski hire lessons. And uh, we'll see how that pans out. Obviously, most of you don't need that as a currency, but maybe digital nomads will more in the future. So we like to be the forefront of the tech, talking of which it's 12 years since this Bansko blog app, Bansko app as we call it in the iOS version, exactly 12 years actually yesterday, the 14th of February, when we went live. So if you have enjoyed the app in any way, it's helped in any way, then please, please give it a quick rate and review. Five stars, we really like those. Uh, it's hard, I know, to go to the App Store or Play Store and do this, but it really makes a huge amount of difference and I much appreciate it. It's uh, an awful lot of work, actually. I'm not every day up the mountain <laughs> enjoying the snow, although I give that impression, of course. And, uh, and I do try and get up as much as I can, especially when the conditions are going to be so good as today and these days. Okay, so lessons, they're getting booked up. I say this all the time. Just bumped into, I think, a Paul who contacted me and I had to, sometime, maybe a week ago, and had to say the lessons were all full. Uh, so they do get booked up. I uh, recommend private lessons or a private group if you've got someone who's very similar standard to you, then that's good. Book that up as well. I'm waving to the ski menu instructor there with the children having a fantastic time really good to get your children skiing honestly really they'll thank you for it in later life because it's something you can go off and do anywhere uh, right any more thoughts i think i'll not talk about restaurants today except to say do book your restaurants in the app it really helps keep everything going uh, we don't have every restaurant but we have good selection look at the out of the way bars and coffee places in there too we're trying to support independent venues because it is quieter this year and it's a struggle real struggle for smaller uh, businesses so i'm trying to do my best and if you can do your best to support them then that helps massively and of course we've got these extra benefits as i said to all bansko blog customers just show your booking reference number it's either four digit or five digit digit reference number okay so let me know what you think about cash versus card versus Bitcoin <laughs> and uh, let's enjoy that view with the reeler in the distance it's really a gorgeous little moment here I'm loving it 
take care out there. If you're coming here, be aware, look around, please, before you turn. Because nothing worse than having an injury and you know, missing out on your holiday. So, yeah. But I'm very happy with the conditions. It's going to be good again tomorrow. And I'm, as I say, I'm seeing some snow early next week. And I'll talk about that tomorrow. So I'll see you on the next one. And thank you so much for watching. And if you do enjoy this and you haven't subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Oh, and the link there. Will it be there? I don't know. As you see, this uh, is the final chance to put a comment below the video for your chance to win that wonderful World Cup hat. It is absolutely smashing hat. It's beautiful. So uh, that'll close on Saturday. So be sure to go to that video and put a comment, something like, I want one of those, whatever you want to say. But you must be subscribed and you must like the video. Peace out, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Gorgeous.